Hi, Rex again with Affordable Street Rods. And uh, today I'm gonna to show you how to wire a trinary switch into your air conditioning system. Uh, the trinary switch, again, will protect uh, your system. It's a high-low limit switch, and it also has the capacity to control your electric fan. So uh, the drawing is a little bit uh, different than the one we did for the binary switch. Uh, but again, it's pretty simple. Um, this is gonna represent your trinary switch. Again, you have two blue wires two black wires with a green stripe. Uh, the black wires with the green stripe are function exactly the same as the binary switch did. So that's the binary function, the high-low limit function of the trinary switch. So let's draw that guy in. Again, out of your control, out of your uh, vintage air control, uh, this vintage air sends a blue wire that comes from the cool thermostat, and it's gonna come down here and connect to one of the black with green wires going into your trinary switch, doesn't matter which one, and then you're gonna connect the other black with green wire to your air conditioner compressor. That uh, prevents your compressor from running without Freon, and it also shuts your compressor off above 406 pounds. So uh, we've, we've wired half of this switch very, very simply, just like the binary portion. Now we're gonna talk about the trinary portion and how that operates uh, an electric fan. Uh, first of all, you have to have a fan relay. We offer at Affordable Street Rods, we offer the 70 amp relay kit that we uh, build in house. It comes with a 60 amp maxi fuse, uh, all the wiring and instructions. Um, I'm gonna talk to you a little bit about how to wire that guy in the system. This is a block sender from Vintage Air. This will control your electric fan based on engine temperature. And then we have a, just a simple toggle switch where we can manually override the system and turn on the fan whenever we choose. So um, let's start with the battery. Uh, and in our relay kit, we're gonna have a, a big heavy wire. It's a 10 gauge wire that connects the battery to the relay. And then from the relay, we're gonna go down to the electric fan. And of course your electric fan has a ground wire. So we're gonna send power from the battery, through the relay, into the electric fan, and then onto ground. Uh, so essentially what we're doing is we're going to use these two terminals on the relay to control when that switch is open or when it's closed and sends power to the fan. And that's where the, the trinary comes into play. So um, this terminal here on your relay, we're gonna connect it to your ignition, key on ignition. So this terminal becomes hot anytime your key is in the run position. In order for the fan to actually work and the relay to close, then this side needs to be grounded. This side of your relay needs to be grounded. So um, what we're going to do, and I'm going to use, I think, the black marker to do that. We're going to come, come from this terminal on the relay uh, I like to come over to a block sender in the intake manifold. This block sender will screw uh, close to the thermostat, uh, preferably in your intake manifold. That's going to read the temperature of the water in your intake manifold. And this block sender is just a simple switch. Uh, this particular one that I have out here is set at 190 degrees. So when the water gets to 190 degrees, the internal switch in that block sender closes, and it grounds this terminal on top via the threads on the block sender through your intake manifold. So uh, wired as it is now, we turn the ignition switch to the run position. We're sending power to the relay. Uh, if this block sender is above 190, it closes the relay and sends power uh, from the battery through the relay onto the fan. Um, the trinary switch, we like to make that part of it um, automatic. So one of the blue wires, I'm simply going to ground it permanently. The second blue wire, I'm gonna run back up here and I'm gonna tie it in to the wire at the top of my block sender. So now what happens, the engine's above 190, uh, this block sender creates a ground when the key's on, power flows through the relay to ground through the block sender and the fan comes on. If the block sender is not 190 degrees, your water temperature is not 190 degrees, then we can still find a ground through your trinary switch. So at 254 pounds of high side pressure, this switch closes 
sending power, you can trace it from the ignition switch into the coil of the relay, through the relay to the block sender. There's no ground there because the engine's not warmed up yet, but there could be a ground through this switch if we're at 254 pounds of high side pressure. I also like to wire in a toggle switch when I do when I wire a car this way, uh, and that's really simple as well. All I need to do is run another wire from here over to a toggle switch, and then I permanently ground one side of that toggle switch. So if my air conditioner is not on, my engine's not up to temperature, I can always create a ground uh, and a pass from the ignition switch through the coil of that relay via a toggle switch. It's possible that we could have this switch on, uh, which would make the fan run. The block sender could be above 190, that's creating a ground, and your trinary switch could be above 254 pounds of pressure, and that would create a ground. In that case, you have three paths to ground that will turn the relay on. It only requires one. Uh, so any one of those three options will turn the fan on. You cannot manually turn the fan off with this switch. You can only manually turn it on, so it's kind of a safety factor. The engine uh, is calling for fan. Uh, that'll create a ground and or trinary switch is calling for ground that will uh, calling for the, the fan. So that'll create a ground. Um, three ways to turn it on, uh, two of which are automatic. The toggle switch just allows you to manually override that. So uh, stay tuned. Um, later on, we'll be talking a little bit about brushless fans that uh, sort of are replacing this system, but this is still a great way to wire up your electric fan. Uh, again, all the parts are available at Affordable Street Rods. Uh, give us a call or check us out online at affordablestreetrods.com. We only sell genuine vintage air parts at, at, uh, uh, for your air conditioning system. So give us a shot. Be glad to help you. Thank you.